Welcome to the Merch Minds Podcast, where we discuss everything about the merch by Amazon business in the print on demand industry. Here are your hosts, Glenn and Young. What's up, everybody? Glenn with the YouTube channel Hustler Hacks. This is the Merch Minds Podcast, episode number lucky 13. I'm here with Young. Yo, lucky number 13. Yes, you know what? Sir. Dan Marino, 13. And you know what? You know what that means? That means that's my lucky number because today I'm headed off to Las Vegas. Oh, there we go. So, Big money coming up for Young. Yeah. Gambling out there. He's a gambling man. Yeah, I'll be at the penny uh, the penny slot machines. That's for sure. <laughs> the penny. Are you a poker guy or no? Uh, craps. I'm a craps okay. guy. Okay. Love what about craps. roulette? A little roulette? Sometimes, every now and then, but okay. primarily craps. The problem with craps is, though, is uh, such a fast paced game where you can win a lot of money. Yeah. Where you can lose a lot of money. <laughs> and and typically in my case, I lose a lot of money. So <laughs> you know, I usually come back from Vegas, you know, just pissed off. So <laughs> Yeah, don't spend all of your merch earnings in no, Vegas. No, no, no. You know what? I to be honest with you, I don't gamble as much as I used to. Uh, okay. it's all about just hanging out and seeing shows and going for food and you know, just taking in the sights really. Yeah. I love Vegas. I want to go back and it's just, I don't know. It's just pretty cool just to just be there, really, and just enjoy your time because once you're back here, you're just working 24 7. It's making money a different way, but yeah. over there, gambling is always cool, yeah. always fun. Well, so I what are we talking about today? What? <laughs> no, I, Wait, I, I, was, ahead, I, was, I was just going to say, I was originally supposed to go out there and hang out with you for a few days, but I left oh, at the airfares, and there was no way. They were charging. Eight hundred dollars to fly from San Jose to El Paso, and you know, and Glenn, you're my boy and all, man. But I'm not spending eight hundred, eight hundred of my merch money to go see you, man. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm sorry, that's just not gonna happen. Come on, man. Man, will you come see me then? You make more money than I do. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> merch, maybe, but overall, in general, you're banking it out there. Oh, dude, you know what? But I pay more too, so. That's true. That's true. I'm out here in the desert, so that's why that's why it costs so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you know, I, I pay the price for for being out here. So but there we go. anyway, what were you gonna say? Talking about um, you know, this show and what we wanna do, twenty seventeen, our goals, what we can um expect from merch, what we're looking forward to, maybe a little predictions. Uh, for merch in 2017, but for sure, talking about our goals and what we want to do to grow our merch business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what are the couple of things you have in mind, or things that you definitely want to tackle? Well, you know, here's a problem with with that, right? I mean, I think it's fair to say that everyone who's on the merch platform wants to grow their business the problem is as we all know it's under Amazon and Amazon has a lot of control so we can only grow as much as Amazon allows us to Very and true. so but with that said to answer uh, that question um, you know obviously I want more shirts uploaded um, mm -hmm. and I've always said you know I want to get to the point where you're currently at where I'm making four to five K a month and if I can do that by next May, you know, May of 2017, uh, I would I would be really happy. You know, I'll be very content. Uh, so 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 that so that's my goal. You know, May of 2017, I do I do want to uh, try and build my numbers up, uh, not just as you know as far as royalties, but you know as as um, having uh, the designs up as well. So maybe like around three to four thousand um, a month royalties we're talking about. About four, four to five k. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's 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 good. That's you know four to five k. Let me write this down because you said when. Hey, dude! You don't have to. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to write this down, man. You know, my my goals might change, man. What are you doing? <laughs> I just want to make sure that you know you have some type of like, you know success partner that's like you know texting you every day and be like hey how many shirts did you upload today young we got to make sure we're reach reaching these goals because you know well, this you, is no you joke 
well, you don't have to document everything, man. This is, you know, what, what, what the heck? <laughs> but then again, it's on recording, so I don't yeah, know. There we go. Why, we'll go why, back. I, I don't know why I'm all worried, right? <laughs> Everything's being recorded. And uh, I think the same thing. I mean, my goal was like when I first really started the ball was like going, like this thing was just growing, growing. I was like, man, 10 grand a month was mm-hmm. like my main goal. And for December, it looks like I will get to that point. It kind of sucks though that it had to come at Q4 and not just like a regular yeah. random month, you know, like May or June. That's like, oh man, 10 grand. Now I'm here. Now I can just keep growing this. So I would like to hit 10 grand royalties, but like at a random time, not not through Q4 times where everybody's doing well. I want to do it, you know. Like kind of like the same point, I think May, June, July, around that time. Also, give me some time to add more shirts because after the purge, you know, I was down to I think I have what fourteen hundred shirts. So mm. it is going to take some time to kind of rebuild and and get that going again. So for sure, that is my goal. Um, I I want to do ten k a month at some point. Of course, of course, yeah. No, that, that's that's a good goal, and I think. Um... I think that's a reasonable goal, especially considering uh, the tier that you're at. So, uh, but again, I mean, we can only grow as much as Amazon allows us to. So, I'm yeah. hoping uh, that they would allow us to grow, but at the same time, have some fair restrictions. I mean, I know uh, this past month they've been really harsh on how, uh, you know, how they've been. Um, deleting people's accounts and whatnot and mm-hmm. you know and we don't know the full story behind that so i mean we can't really say for sure why i mean was it because people were you know actually copying other designs we don't know um yeah. but but uh but yeah i mean i do hope that they um do take care of the content creators that do follow the rules and and you know are honest and whatnot yeah for sure um, my second goal that I do want to go get into 2017 is playing around with some of the marketing. Um, you know, Instagram, I think for sure is where it's at. Uh-huh. You know, when we talked to Mike uh, Peterson, Treasure Gnome, that was what episode nine, I think we talked to him, and and he was already getting into that with marketing with Instagram, a little bit of Facebook, and getting those direct sales. I mean. It's definitely better than organic. But when I was kind of thinking about it and writing down these goals, I still think that it is a mixture of both because if let's say you're not adding any new shirts and maybe you're just not doing as much as you were before, but you still have direct sales. I still think you got to be adding new products because things change. Even if you're not doing the t-shirt business, if you never add new products, I think, and maybe some maybe some people do follow your store, especially if you're, you're going to have your own website eventually and kind of getting those sales in. They're going to see, well, I mean, there's no new designs. There's no new products coming out. You know, what's going on here? Uh-huh. So I think it is a mixture of both adding new shirts and the, you know, direct sales with your marketing tactics. But um, right now I'm all organic sales. So I do want to add some Instagram Facebook, um, maybe pages, marketing, maybe some ads in there for next year. Yeah, no, that's that's the same thing that I want to get into. And like you said, we, we talked to Mike and, you know, he uh, he does have a course on this on Udemy. And I was able to watch mm-hmm. uh, most, most of the videos that he has on there. And uh, he provides some really good information. But, yeah, um, Pinterest, Instagram. <laughs> For sure. uh, Facebook ads. Um, I know. I know. There's a whole science behind it. It's not. You know, if you do it wrong, uh, I know it, it. It doesn't work. But if you do it correctly, it does work. As um, you know, Mike's proven uh, with his account. So that's something I definitely, definitely want to get my feet into. Yeah, and he talks more about that. If you want to go to his course, um, but he talks a little bit more about Instagram and, and Instagram and Pinterest, especially those two. That have been working for him. And I could definitely see the potential with Pinterest that I think a lot of people aren't really 
I don't know, I guess expecting a lot from it. I think a lot of people are expecting a lot more from Facebook rather than Pinterest. But I think Pinterest is actually where um, more of the ad money and maybe attention should be into. Because it's great for um, research, definitely. For getting ideas, seeing what's going on, what people are into. I think Pinterest is right there with Instagram. But I think a lot of people are underestimating it when it comes to marketing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know too much about Pinterest. I do have an account, but I mean, I vaguely use it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems like, according to Mike, you know, there is, you know, he does get pretty good traffic from it. So that's something I definitely want to get into as well. Yeah. Uh, goal number three is this one's going to be tough because this is the, the kind of like a thing where we talked about where Amazon does have control over. So, I was averaging a hundred designs a week. Um, I would start off, I would have my own little schedule. You know, I would, I would research on Monday and then I would start designing on Tuesday and then um, continue designing on Wednesday, kind of finalizing like the, um, the titles, all that stuff on Thursday and then uploading everything on that Friday. So like every week I had a good a hundred uploaded ready to go. But now that, there's kind of the restrictions, which I don't know what mine is yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to still do the, you know, unlimited amount per week to upload, mm -hmm. but I, w I really want to get back to like a really good clean schedule. I would like to just up that a little bit more instead of a hundred, I'd like to get like 120, 125 per week just wow. to try to get closer to my 8,000. Cause that is going to take a long while to fill up, especially with um, with them deleting shirts after 60 days. It's going to take some time to really, really build that up. So I don't know. We're going to have to see what their final call is on that. And if they only allow me to do 5, 10, 20, I mean, if it was 20 shirts a day, that'd be good. I would still be able to do the 120, but it would really throw things off as far as getting those shirts in. Cause we talked about that too, that it's pretty much a waste of day. If I don't get to put the, let's say a 20 is my, my limit. It's going to be Your a limit, waste yeah. if I don't get that in exactly. um, per day instead of me doing it per week. So I'm really going to have to figure out what my new schedule is going to be like. I'm hoping I can keep it very similar but that's my goal is to get a nice, good, clean merch design and upload schedule. Well, if just out of curiosity, if Amazon does continue with giving content creators a limit of how many shirts that they can upload, mm -hmm. would you maybe consider hiring a VA to do that for you? Or would um, you just lose that, that particular day because I know we all get busy would you just lose yeah. that day and just not upload any shirts well here's here's my issue with like VA and even hiring like other graphic designers that maybe don't know the full merch business and that always has to go with the trademark stuff especially right now because if I'm going to tell VA hey upload this with the like I'm telling them what kind of title Mm -hmm. and or keywords to put in i'm still gonna have to do that work anyway i might as well just do it so myself. you might as well do it yourself that makes sense yeah yeah and and just make sure that it's done right to where i feel comfortable not going over some type of copyright or trademark infringement but if i had someone else do it um i think that would probably be my main worry like i don't know like going into my account and being like man like why are all these shirts declining i, I didn't tell them to put this in or Mm -hmm. or, or this title or a keyword. So I would still probably prefer to just do it myself, but okay. um, no, that I makes sense. where you're going yeah. though, for yeah. sure. No, yeah, no, because I just, I just, I would, I would hate for you. I mean, like I said, we all get busy. I would just hate for you yeah. to lose that one day of not being exactly. able to upload. Because, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, at 20 shirts, I mean, that's, that's a lot, you know, but, yeah. but then again, I mean, it could be 10, it could be five, it could be 15, who knows? Yeah, would you be happy with five? I'll be, I'll be happy with five. Um, okay. Because at my current tier, so I'm 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 at the five hundred tier. I'm technically supposed to be at a thousand, um, but obviously we know that Amazon isn't upgrading any tier levels at the moment. 
-hmm. So I'm currently at the 500 tier. I'll be happy with five. I think if I can upload five T-shirts until May, I think I can reach that four or five K royalty per month mm -hmm. goal. Mm -hmm. So, so I'll be happy with five for now. Yeah, I think I think the change would be I could still do, um, you know, designing like a hundred so a week, but my change would be let's say if I'm limited to twenty per day. It would be uploading all of these designs, title, keywords, everything done in draft mode and just making sure that at the end of the day or a certain part of the day, every single day that I'm, you know, finalizing those to go through and making them live. Okay. So that would also be part of, you know, making sure I have that time ready and when I'm going to actually do that. So it would be a change for sure. Yeah. But we won't, we won't know, you know, until they, I guess, give us that update. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was my, I guess, my goal for number three. I don't know if yours was different than mine, at least your next one or. Well, I mean, so I, I obviously didn't write mine down. Like I said, man, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I freestyle baby. Okay. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't need to make a list and all that, man. I like to freestyle. So, and this is something that we talked about, Glenn, you and I personally. So one thing I'm going to do next year is I'm going to start uploading. And I've actually, to be, to be honest with you, I've been doing it already, but I'm going to start uploading uh, my designs on other platforms outside of Amazon, like, okay. uh, you know, Redbubble, Red Printful, and I know there's a bunch of others out there. I just got to do my research um, to see which one is is worth uploading to. But, um, yeah, that's something that I want to get into, um, uploading my designs onto other platforms and eventually branding certain designs and then having my own website and have those, uh, you know, t-shirts on my own website as well so that's something mm -hmm. that i want to get into next year and are you thinking about i guess designing something and then just i guess whenever you upload it to merch you're just going to upload it to all of the other ones at the same time maybe you're thinking about maybe a certain day you're going to upload them to you know a different website or i guess we won't you know, know until you get your schedule yeah you know i haven't even thought that far but oh I'm thinking I mean, way. Ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean. My guess would be, you know, as soon as I upload it to merch, you know, since I'm on the computer, I might as well, you know, upload it onto Redbubble, Printful. Um, at the same time, since you know I am on the computer, so might as well just do that one shot. Yeah, and this doesn't have to be a goal. I mean, it does pertain to merch because merch does take time. But what about your goals with your other platforms that you've been selling in? eBay, Amazon mm. FBA, now we're adding merch. How are you going to, I guess, figure out that time for each? Are you going to let one go? 2017, what is Yang going to be doing? Well, it's funny because I was just having this conversation with someone a couple of days ago. FBA, I would never quit. Um, I am, however, I need to really reevaluate the way I'm going to do FBA because it seems like they're constantly making some drastic changes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to really reevaluate the way I do FBA. Right now, currently, I'm liquidating almost everything that I have in inventory on FBA right now mm -hmm. uh, because of the whole long-term storage fee, the changes in that. So, I mean, even if I'm taking a loss on a, on a book or something, um, Hey, I just want it out of the inventory. And then next year, I'm again, I need to really reevaluate the way I'm going to do FBA. That's something that I need to think about, sit down, and figure out how I'm going to do that. eBay, you know, ever since I started FBA, I never really was heavy into eBay anymore. But mm -hmm. I do, you know, but it's something I'm never going to stop. I'll tell you one thing, though. As far as eBay is concerned, I'm done selling those T-shirts where I just get a $10 return things mm -hmm. like that. For eBay, if I don't get like a $50 return or higher, it's, you know, it's not worth listing for me anymore. Dang, 50 or higher. Yeah, no, seriously. It's just because, you know, you and I talked about this, man. I hate having stuff in my house. Yeah. 
I absolutely hate it. Um, so, I mean, on average, I probably have anywhere between 20 to 30 items in my eBay store. But again, I'm going to reevaluate that. And if I don't get a return of 50 or more, uh, it's just not even worth listing for me anymore. Okay. And, you know, other platforms like Craigslist, I've already said this. Uh, you know, I love Craigslist. I'll, I'll never stop doing Craigslist. So I just had a sale last night on Craigslist. So, oh, no, nice. I, I, I absolutely love it. Oh, nice. And that's crazy how, you know, merch has impacted the whole reselling community pretty much, mm -hmm. uh, especially for everybody that's, that's making, you know, good money and then the people that want to grow it and the everybody's at different tiers right now. But it completely changed things in the way you think because I've seen other resellers too that are very similar mindset to you. That you know what, it's not worth my time, you know, finding these five, seven, ten, twelve dollar profits to, you know, list it, take pictures, and uh, ship it out, and all of this stuff. So um, and that's just because of merch and how easy it is to make money. It completely changed that whole mindset. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Well, because you're, you're, you're making, I mean, even if your royalty is like five, six bucks, you're making money from nothing. I mean, you either designed the shirt yourself or you had someone else do it. Um, yeah. Well, I guess technically if you had someone else do it, you probably most likely pay for the, the designer. But if you're designing the shirt yourself, it's just a one-time effort you upload it and then you know hopefully it'll sell and then if it does sell it'll keep selling yeah yeah exactly and i think uh, i am thinking very similar to you i think i mean the weird thing about fba is like i was at target what was i buying um me and the wife are buying like different stuff we had people come over and while i was there i was like you know what let's look around the clearance a little bit see what there is you know scanning games and all that stuff i found like within the first minutes i was there i found like four or five good profitable games and um and like i said i haven't done a lot of fba in a good while since merch i've done like small shipments here and there the last two or three months i haven't shipped out anything so um you know once i i was scanning games and stuff i don't know like i had that itch again like oh fba like <laughs> You know, you know, it's like FBA, baby. I never left you. Like, you're still here. Well, not just that. I mean, you, you were seeing all those numbers that people were putting up in the Facebook groups, and you're like, oh, man, I could be out there crushing it. But here's the thing, right? I mean, yeah, you could be out there crushing it. You know, I mean, I was just telling you that I was talking with a guy a couple of days ago. He did 100K yeah. this month because of, <laughs> because of fourth quarter. But I mean, obviously he busted his ass. But yeah, we don't we don't know the blood, sweat, and tears that went into the hundred k <laughs> sourcing, listing, shipping. Yeah, but all but, of that. Yeah, but, I mean, but the thing is, I mean, the the number is also you know obviously phenomenal. Oh yeah. But in 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 exchange, you know, because you and I were focusing on merch so much. We're building someone, or some. We're building someone. Jesus, we're, build, <laughs> we're building we're, robots out here. <laughs> we'll be, we're, we're building something that could be, you know, long term. Yeah. That brings in. I mean, obviously, it's not a hundred k, but it's something that could be long term. And over the years, the royalties obviously will add up. And you know, it's it could be a long term solution for for, you know, building a significant income. Yeah, and and the hundred k. To, I mean, we're talking about, oh, yeah, one month. We talked about blood, sweat, and tears going into it, not to mention the fees and, of course, um, how much is actual profit, which for merch is completely different because if you're doing it, you know, doing the designs yourself, then it's all profit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just two totally different things. FBA, I think. I agree with you. I don't want to let it go. I mean, I think there's still very easy money to be made there, especially just yeah, easy sourcing like that. Uh, eBay, I'm never going to let go either, but I am going to be very, very picky. Um, I was always, I am still, I still have a lot of like jerseys and a lot of things. Like you said, things take up a lot of room. Don't really want to deal with it. I do a lot of good things with like shoes, especially Ross, um, fines and, 
outlet finds and things like that with shoes. So I think shoes, I'll probably never let those go. But I mm -hmm. think a lot of like clothing, smaller items that are a lot harder to ship, I have to find boxes and all that. I don't have the time for it. I'm just going <laughs> to stick with what I know. I already have the stuff for it. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, and ultimately I just want to spend more time on merch and uh, have those things kind of in the back, still making me some, some money, but merch is just going to be a hundred percent, you know, what I really, really, really want to focus on. So, mm -hmm. all right. So 2017, I don't know if we should make any predictions, but as far as like what merch is going to do, but what would you like to see in 2017 Amazon? What would you like to see them do? Oh gosh. Well, you know, this is a ongoing conversation, I think year round, but one thing I would like to see uh, obviously is more products, you know, hoodies, tank tops, um, underwear, thongs. That was a, those are jokes, man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, um, you know, hoodies, tank tops, and whatnot, and uh, phone cases, mugs, phone, yeah, um, phone cases, mugs, tote bags, all that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So definitely want to see more, more, more products, and I want to be able to edit my prices um, more efficiently because right mm -hmm. now, you know, we, you can only edit them one at a time. Yeah. And there's a third one, but I kind of lost my thought, so I can't obviously tell you. So let me think <laughs> about the third one, and then I'll get back to you. What about you? Okay. Um, I agree with you, adding more products. But here's the problem with adding more products. I just don't think they're ready for it. And in 2017, would I like to see it? Sure. Do I think it's going to happen in 2017? I'd be really surprised if it did because we just saw what happened. Q4, you know, black's gone, navy's gone, different mm -hmm. colors are gone. Um, restrictions, deleting accounts, tearing up. No, no one's really tearing up as far as some of the lower ones. So, all these things, you know, I just feel like we're still learning, but they're still learning. So, to see new products, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe 2018, it'd be great if it was 2017. We don't really know yet, but of course I would like to see that. But I think they really do have to clean up the t-shirts first mm -hmm. to really expand and to see what where they're going to go from here. Um, I agree with you as far as like bulk editing, bulk listing, mm -hmm. um, things going a little bit quicker as far as getting that in. But in the same time, I also see that kind of going backwards too, because right now, I mean, let's say if you can uh, post or, or go live with like two to five shirts, I think they really want to monitor like what's getting through designs and keywords, titles, copyright, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, but my goal, I mean, my, not my goal, but what I'd like to see I think this one, I think a lot of people can agree on. I think you'll agree on for sure. It's probably my third one. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, yeah. this is my, you're like, this is my original third one. <laughs> <laughs> is like, how many copyright or trademark infringe, let's say, all right, we made an honest mistake. We checked it, or let's say it was copyrighted after the fact. You already uploaded it. Someone else copyrighted it down the road. It got taken down. How many strikes do you get before you're gone? Oh, yeah. No, you know what? As much as you would like to see that, I don't think that's ever going to happen with Amazon. <laughs> I just I just don't see that happening. That's not the way Amazon... Let's say, let's say it was an honest mistake. You're not doing anything like... You already know the rules. But let's say someone copyrighted it after you uploaded it, months after something. Mm -hmm. Um what happens then? I mean, would you like to see, hey, this thing happened, you have two more strikes before you're gone? I mean, like you said, it sounds unrealistic. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't see that. I mean, that's not how Amazon works. I mean, yeah. you know, regardless of what platform you're on on Amazon, that's just, they don't work like that. But I would like to see it, though. Of course. I mean, I think we would all like to see it, but um, unfortunately, and I, and I hate to burst your bubble, man, I just don't see that happening. 
Yeah, it is a long shot, but I tried though. <laughs> I just totally ruined your dreams. <laughs> oh, so that wasn't your third one then? No, it wasn't. It was something and I just can't I can't remember what it was. Um, well, this one could probably be part of it. It might have been this one, is just being able to sell to different countries and not just limited to a certain amount of people that can buy from you. Mm. So growing outside the the platform going on outside the US, like, yeah. Yeah, like um I guess like Europe sales and, and things like that. So, mm -hmm. um, which I think that will happen too, um, which is pretty much why they told everybody in the, in the man, when was that, that webinar that they did oh, where they were saying, you know, don't have ago. it. Yeah. Don't have it in, you know, made in USA and all that, because mm -hmm. eventually they are going to go outside of the USA, not only selling shirts, but also making them, producing them, Mm -hmm. Outside of the U.S., so I know I know what my third one was. Jeez, I know. Okay, good. good. <laughs> it was just better communication, but kind of like what I was saying about yours. Um, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, again, that's just not how Amazon works. Um, mm -hmm. They don't do that. So, but you what, know, what about? Nice. Oh, sorry, sorry. What about? No, I, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I just thought about this. Okay. When. They change something in their terms and conditions. They give you a certain amount of time and or date so that you are, well, you know, you have that that posted in there that you must, you know, change or agree to these terms by a certain date. If not, then you can be yeah, well, I mean, terminated. That's, that's in the... Uh... That's in the perfect world scenario, right? I mean, you know, they give you a heads up. They give you they give you a certain amount of days to go in and, and clean house and make changes and whatnot. But they don't do that, right? Um, yeah. So that that's that's really unfortunate, especially for people yeah. like you and I. And you know, and I'm sure there's thousands and thousands of others that play by the rules. Uh, and it's unfortunate for us because you know it's those bad apples that really ruin it for all of us. Yeah. So sorry, a lot of wishful thinking over here, young. But. Of course, of course. No, that, you know that these are just something that we we want, but we can't get. Kind of like that hot girlfriend, like you know, like I want to date Beyonce. I want it, but I can't get it. <laughs> You're competing with a lot here with Jay Z. So, <laughs> <laughs> so predictions for 2017 for merch. I don't know if. Should we be doing predictions? Because like we said, we don't have control over Amazon and what they do. But it could be a little interesting on what you predict. Not what you think will happen, but your predictions. Well, I mean, I, th I predict that they will have some new apparel. I mean, they're not going to – I don't think they're going to release everything all at once, but I think yeah. we'll have something, at least one extra apparel, whether it be a tank top or, or a hoodie, a hoodie or, or a sweatshirt, just a you know, plain sweatshirt. I think we'll have something next year. I could see that. I could see hoodie or or maybe, like, tank tops for sure, especially if it was rolled out during, like, you know, early summer. Mm -hmm. I think that would be, like, the perfect time to, like, hey, introduce this. Everybody gets a hold of it. Hey, that's cool. They're making this now. Tank tops are coming out. And then maybe once fall starts coming, fall and winter, maybe start bringing out the hoodie. Yeah. I mean, that'd be cool. I mm -hmm. mean, just to get it right on time. And I think you can really, you know, get some good sales from that if they did that yeah. you know, correctly. Yeah. And if they're ready, then I think that would be pretty cool. That's my prediction, though. Okay. Any other predictions? Just one? Just one prediction. Just <laughs> one, man. Just one. <laughs> I, I don't have too much. I predict that they are going to be very, very cautious and strict when it comes to copyright, trademark, infringement, and mm -hmm. what people are uploading. Mm -hmm. I, I see the two to five day thing right now. Um, really kind of like a sign for the future on that they're, I just don't see them allowing, of course, everybody to upload anytime they want, even if your tier is at 500 or a thousand. Um, it did say like in their update right now that they're going to let the larger tiers upload, um, pretty much as many as they would want, as long as it's under wow. their tier or whatever. Wow. But 
you know, I haven't been, I, I, I can't upload anything yet. Okay. But they said for the larger ones, which I'm guessing tier 8,000 or 10,000, or I don't know what's after that. So I'm pretty sure they'll let that happen. But I do think, especially for the ones starting out, like, and, you know, they already changed it to 10, right? Is your new starting tier. Yeah, but see, it's not twenty. Yeah, you know, I, I did see that, and I don't, I don't see that being an issue, okay? Because if you can sell ten shirts, you can obviously sell fifteen more shirts. Where I see a problem is when are they going to tear people up? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I, I think, I, I think starting at ten, I don't think that's a big issue. I think, obviously, if you sell ten, you can easily sell fifteen more. Uh, it's just a matter of when Amazon is going to tear people up. Um, and that goes for everyone, regardless of what tier you're at. Yeah, and I think, well, I guess, well, my point was, like, if you're starting off at 10 now, since they just changed that, mm -hmm. get very familiar with the rules and everything, because you don't know what your chances are going to be like to keep going after that. Because mm -hmm. if you're new, maybe you don't know all the trademark copyright stuff that you're... Because I know in the beginning, yeah, like, I think a lot of people just tried out something that, oh, cool, I can make something of a certain team or show or something yeah. and not really knowing, but now, and a lot of that stuff went through, but now I think for sure 2017, they're going to be very, very, uh, you know, they're just going to check every single detail when it comes to that stuff, especially for the new ones mm -hmm. that are coming in, see exactly what they're doing. Um, as far as the copyright trademark stuff goes. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just not going to be, because like I said earlier this year, it was just, I thought it was just out of control. <laughs> I don't remember how many merch shirts there were at one point, like the highest point, do you know? I know there was over a million. I do know that. Yeah. Um, and then now is what, 500,000 around there? I, I, read, I thought it was like 484,000 or something. Yeah, I, I read uh, they went in there and cleaned the house and they're down to about four to 500K. So. Yeah, I think it's just going to get, they're really, really going to pay attention to a lot more stuff because that also has to do with their sales because, you know, they can see the best selling shirts and what's going on in Q4. And then a bunch of people are adding 100 a week, 200 a week, a whole bunch every single day. That's just, you don't know what's going on, which yeah. I kind of figured what would happen because you're just losing control at that point. Yeah. So I think they're they're gonna they're gonna figure that out and hopefully I don't know that'll be yeah. nice yeah and let's see what 2017 brings but one of our goals I know Young has an announcement for 2017 on Merch Minds and Facebook and what's going on as part of one of our 2017 goals you want to share that yeah you know this is something that you know we had a few listeners now approach us and they asked why don't you guys have a Facebook group. And you and I obviously discussed this in private, and it was one of those things where we were like, well, what can, if we're going to do a Facebook group, how's it going to be different from all the other groups out there? Like, what can we bring to the table that's mm -hmm. going to be different? Because if it's going to be the same, there's no reason to have a, a Facebook group, right? Yeah. So what can we do different? So, so you and I thought about it. Um, we are going to have a Facebook group. But it's going to be a little different than others. Um, we're going to cap it off at 500. Okay. So basically, with Glenn and I being in there currently, uh, we're only going to have 502 members. Okay. <laughs> so you know, 500, 500 members besides Glenn and I. So we, so we're going to cap it off yeah. at 500, and. Um, we want people to be proactive. We want people to engage with others um, and communicate with others on a regular basis. Uh, if you just like a post, that's not engaging. That doesn't provide value. That doesn't provide uh, any valuable content. And if that's all you're doing, well, we're going to remove you because we only want people to go in there and provide value and communicate and engage with others. Um, kind of consider it like a virtual co-working space for for merch mm -hmm. um so if you know if, if you're in there for like a month and all you're doing is just liking a post chances are you're going to get removed i'm sorry i mean we're, we're going to tell you this up front 
Um, so, you know, if, if you're one of those people who just kind of lurks and doesn't really participate, well, this probably isn't for you. Again, we're trying to uh, uh, recruit, maybe, you know, I, I hate saying recruit, but, you know, we want people to really just engage and help help others out. Um, now, what does that mean? Do I have to post every day? No. But, you know, maybe four times a month, you know, once a week. And if you can't do that, again, this group isn't for you. Uh, so we're going to cap it off at 500. We want people that's going to engage with others. And, um, yeah, and, and, and if not, we're going to remove you. Um, and, you know, Glenn and I, we're here to help you guys. We'll do the best that we can. But it's like we said, we are not experts. We don't have the inside, you know, the inside scoop when it comes to uh, merch. So, you know, if there's some some crazy specific Amazon questions, we don't know. I mean, we're we're on this journey as everyone else. So, I mean, our accounts can get suspended tomorrow. We don't know, um, but we'll do the best that we can to help you. And uh, you know, and also the Facebook group. It'll be good for us to um, take polls and and figure out what people want to hear. So that way we can provide more content for you guys on these podcasts. Yeah, exactly. And and what Young said, you know, we're like we're on this journey all together. And whether you're a seller um, that's just starting out, maybe you have some questions, maybe you're one of the top dogs making some pretty good money. Anyway, everybody can help each other. There's always something new to learn. We're learning this. Amazon is changing things as we've clearly seen in the last month or so or more. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of things, especially with news and stuff and keeping in touch what's going on uh, in the world of merch. And we're able to talk about these things too uh, in the podcast. Eventually, I would like to do um, some type of, I don't know, like, giveaway type things and more more participation with other people that we we usually talk to and and people that can just get a hold of us easier too I, i've gotten like quite a bit of emails and a lot of them are about different things about the youtube channel about merch um you know about ebay and and amazon and ross finds i don't know what else so it is kind of tough to respond you know, to everything very, very quickly, but maybe it is a simple question. Maybe you want to get my advice on things. Maybe you want to find out some other uh, answers or advice from other members. I think it'd just be really, really cool. And you know, we can talk about this stuff in the podcast and give some shout outs and, and see what other people are doing. So, Absolutely. So, so yeah. So again, Facebook group, we're going to cap it off at 500. Uh, if you're the type of person that lurks, this is, you know, this group isn't for you. Uh, we actually want people to participate. And, um, you know, before we go, you know, as always, you know, I, I, I always like to ask people to go to iTunes and leave us, uh, you know, feedback and comments, you know, give us a like if you, you know, if you want. Um, I do want to say there was one feedback. There was one review that we got. It wasn't bad, but, you know, uh, they gave us, well, at least they gave me some criticism, and it was, well, Yang says, um, too much. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I left that comment on there. I just felt <laughs> like you, I mean, you have, so I just felt like I had to put that. Just kidding. You're a, you're a jackass, you know that? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I mean, we've always said, look, I am not a, a professional radio personality. I don't get, I don't get paid full-time money to do these podcasts. Uh, you know, this is just something that Glenn and I decided to do uh, to really share our journeys uh, on merch with you guys. Um, so, and there I, there, I, there I go, I said, um, again, but again, Hey, you know what? I'm sorry. You know, if that's, you know, if that bothers you, I, I really do apologize. And uh, another thing that they said was uh, they said some of the information that we provide is inaccurate. Again, we are not experts. Um, we can only share what we know, what we have experience in. And, you know, if you as a guest would like to come on and, and have that discussion with us, I mean, we'd be more than happy to have you. Um, but we do really appreciate that feedback. I mean, that's what we want. If if we can do something better, uh, let us know. Let us know in the, in, in the reviews. I mean, that's what we really appreciate. And, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make, you know, make that comment and, Thank whoever left that review. Uh, 
And uh, but yeah, for everyone else, please. I, I mean, we're getting almost a thousand downloads per episode, so there are people that's listening. Please go on iTunes and leave us a review. Let us know how we can make this podcast better. And um, with the holidays coming up, today is what Wednesday, the twenty-first. Glenn and I want to sincerely just wish everyone a happy holidays. It's been a it's been a crazy year, man. Hasn't it? Oh yeah, for sure. It, I mean, it's, it just it's been a wild ride. Nowhere, so yeah, yeah, it's just exciting. 2016, and then yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're hoping for a better 2017. Uh, something I'm sure we're all wishing for. So thank you guys. And we may or may not have an ep- uh, episode next week. It depends. I'm going to be traveling for the next couple of weeks. Um, I am going to be back home for at least one day. Uh, and, you know, maybe we can squeeze in the podcast the day that I'm home. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. But uh, So this could be our last podcast for the year. Maybe not. Who knows? Glenn, <laughs> any, any, any closing uh, comments? Uh, and. I totally agree with Yang. If you want to come onto our podcast, please let me or Yang know. You can email me hustlerhacks the number one at gmail.com. And really, I want to take anybody that's if you're new, you've been selling on there for a good while, think you know what you're doing, making good money. If you're not making good money and you're you want to improve, maybe you have questions. Anybody, everybody, welcome to join us on the podcast for sure. Happy holidays, guys. Thanks, guys. guys. See you.